Yeah. I plan to do some like a full on exercise session, but that's what I got in. I definitely haven't been feeling one hundred percent. So the period I plan to do a full on exercise session, I slept through because I just wanted to just stay in bed to recover a bit more and I have been able to make a speedy recovery but that did also mean that I didn't exercise in the period I planned to. You can see the bars in the background so I still could but yeah I think instead I'm winding down allow myself to have a solid night's sleep again to then have a solid session tomorrow but yeah uh, that's it I've downloaded other than to say I've downloaded um, strong lifts again to then be able to have a place where I not only just film what I do but I also make note of what I do this time I won't delete it so that I can actually stick to reviewing how the sessions go beyond just what I record on camera, give myself more of a window to think about how I could progress things and in order to do that, I could use the videos for that as well now I think of it, but in order to do that, I can uh, give myself a window to think about on, on the app where you can just make notes to think about how I progress things each day and I can also make a uh, a video each day for reviews as to like my thoughts on my exercise and where I'm headed with that because I've just been making the videos rather than doing that and also reviewing how I think things are going and because I'm not giving myself that space to review things beyond just the filming I do during the exercise session, there might be a lot of room for growth that I wouldn't be letting myself access. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, but it's definitely something I could think of. I've been thinking of tracking more things than I already am in order to make more progress in aspects of my life that I am, but uh, could potentially be doing through more outlets, through uh, writing things down more. Yeah, financial situation is one of them, but I have made some solid progress with that in terms of investing for gym rent reserves and also qualifications. Like, I want to get to a point where on a monthly basis I am going to get more qualifications i don't want to hold back i just want to keep learning and learning and learning allow myself to just go out and about allow myself to just grow and develop in that way as well because when i don't like how i have been now i haven't gone to do practical assessments recently there's been a lot of room for growth that i could have been doing which I haven't done uh, from a coaching perspective, practically speaking, in terms of learning from people who know way more than me, way more experience than me. Been doing it for way longer than I have. I definitely could do that one day. Personal training providing, a course providing. I plan to, that would be nice. I think I'd enjoy it. But that's from a customer perspective, not actually knowing what the reality of personal training providing is like, like starting off having a lot of people to deal with and also uh, maintaining that personal training providing business. It's not something I've done before, I'm just about starting off with creating a business of my own. So I can get used to that one first and then I can get, I can do personal training providing if that's what I really want to do. That's a lot of money to be made with personal training providing a lot of money well uh, I say a lot even though it's just an opinion and like I say it like it's fact because um, it's way more than I have coming in now but if 
factually speaking, there's no such thing as a lot or little. It just is it's just a series of numbers and a financial situation. That's it. Yeah, but uh, anyway, I'll leave it at that. That's what's gone on. One thought in my mind has been uh, you can't be good for just a week. This is in reference to Transform Your Body, Transform Your Life book. I don't know which page or which topic uh, it's in, but this uh, is an idea I came up with because, again, I haven't done the exercise session that I wanted to do. And I've been thinking of making exercises, as they call it, a cornerstone commitment, a non-negotiable commitment, basically. That's, well, that's how I, I think of it anyway. And uh, I just want to see where that takes me. Because without it, it just seems like I'm not doing anywhere near as much as I could be doing what I want to do. Yeah. Man, I'm going to sneeze, man. Oh, here it comes, I think. that's what's going on for now and uh cheers to getting to a point where i'd be doing i'd have the money to do like getting the qualifications it's just to do what i want to do when i want to do it and to be where i want when i want i'd want to be just feeling at peace not having a squeaky single bed being able to have a space to myself i know what that's like from being out and I really like it but um, with things like that it's just it's up to me to make that happen and also with like landlords I do know that they can just increase the price just um, rent and bills prices just a whole a whole lot I mean I've heard of that happening so there's something I have to be careful with the idea sounds pleasant but would the reality be? Depends. That's what I say. But anyway, uh, that's that for now. Just wanted to make this video uh, to explain what's happened today. I had a 20 minute walk and that's it. But things don't have to be this way. I can actually do what I truly want to do on the premise that I make it a non-negotiable rule the same way I make recording my body weight stats a non-negotiable rule but I do that um, twice a day not just at once so maybe that's something I could think of in order to progress my exercise journey do that twice a day not just at once and just see where that takes me not even for um, like a specific uh, period or specific length but just have certain objectives to go and achieve and just see how it makes me feel because I might I like really I might really like that I can use exercise as uh, a second wind my, uh, my second exercise session in particular I mean the first one would be to set the tone for how I want the day to go and to just enjoy myself using my body and developing its capabilities and then the second one would be like a second wind to further develop the capabilities but to also allow myself to basically like reset same way I could um, I, I'd go out my way to clean my room to just reset think about like how I want to go about the rest of the day and then just take it from there definitely uh, something I could consider doing because weighing myself twice a day I've stuck to uh, twice a day every day I've stuck to and uh, I haven't stuck to do the exercise if I just go out my way to do it once a day every day and there aren't rules to doing such uh, physical activity only once a day it's not something you have to do only once you can't do it more than once go out your way to do some strenuous physical activity more than once a day I would have to be careful with over overtraining, but um, I'd rather I'd rather overtrain than not train at all because 
I'd be setting myself up for just inactivity, just straight up frustration. I think that would be worse than um, putting myself in a position where I need to just tone it down a bit to then go back to what is more optimal for me because I just have to do less if I'm overtraining, but I'd have to start from um, bottom up from scratch if I am um, if I've been physically inactive which can seem harder to do than just decreasing how much I do. Perspective is a big deal, seems like. It's a very big deal, so it seems. And something I can work on to then do whatever I'd want to do uh, in my life, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm done, I'm gonna leave it there. I think, not really say much tomorrow. I don't know what I want to do. I can set up exercising twice a day just just to see how just as out of curiosity just to see where it take me and then uh go from there see see what see how i feel and then uh do that same thing tomorrow just twice a day see how see how i feel and then uh some days decrease the intensity of course allow myself to maybe have one day off or or here and there but usually twice a day, just see how it goes. Uh, I'm also thinking of doing um, not just like body weight stats reviews, but also reviews on uh, the state of my mental health. See how see how that helps me out because I used to do that on a weekly basis through the weekly health reviews, but I haven't been as much as I, I once was and if I focus on that on a daily basis just see where it takes me I could uh, then just reap the benefits of going out my way to take care of my mind because that then with, without going out my way to take care of my mind it seems like I'm setting myself up for a whole load of bullshit a whole load of frustration a whole load of problems that I think uh, I in my mind might not think I could solve like have it, uh, give myself enough, uh, ha having enough to be able to go to the dentist appointment to end this frustration from um, inflamed teeth once and for all. It's been pending, but although I've wanted to do it, I haven't because uh, just money just hasn't seemed like a financial, financially sensible decision to do that, to just go and get a, a dentist appointment. It hasn't seemed like a financially sensible decision to do. and. Things don't have to be that way. Things don't. It just seems like that in my mind because of something I'm working on. I'm going out of my way to work on purchasing power. If I have more of that, then that would be problem solved. I minimise expenses quite a bit. So um, living beyond my means in that regard isn't something I have to do, I don't think. But... Um, increasing income for more purchasing powers where I think I'd be able to move, move things forward. Plus, I've also gone out my way to um, get mentorship with uh, the finances. A financial advisor, basically, as far as I'm aware. I have an appointment in a few days and just see how that goes. I like to do that on a regular basis with uh, the the appointments. Just see see what they're like and uh, use those services to help me achieve that goal of increasing purchasing power to a point where I can very easily put in half to maybe even 90, 90 percent of monthly wages to some form of investment. Imagine I gave myself enough space to put £2,000 on a monthly basis into like um, not only rent reserves, uh, gym rent reserves, but also qu qualifications. Like, even if if I were to put two thousand a month into qualifications only, that I think I I think I feel really happy about that, knowing that the money that I would have coming in isn't completely going out. I I put in I I like that. Um, 
that having that belief even with the few hundred quid less than 400 it was 390 pounds i immediately put to just rent, rent reserves and uh, qualifications it was two months worth of um, rent reserves and some set aside for qualifications excluding what i'd have coming in from working under the gym not independently but if i could get the contract uplifted so i don't have to think about rent excluding clients that i'd have uh, without having to have any clients independently then um I would be making things easier on myself in that regard, even though I would be paying for more. Also, um, I'm no longer going to be paying, I won't be paying for the personal training course on a monthly basis for much longer. It's just a few more months and then that's it. Just a few more months. I could use the qualifications fund for that, but... I don't think I will because the qualifications fund is for my level four, not to pay off the level three at a faster rate. I don't want to, I don't want myself to stagnate there. So maybe not, but yeah, anyway, that's, that's just thoughts of what's going on. I could exercise twice a day and I could also make review videos as to how I think things are going with like the exercise and things like that. On a daily basis, put out at least two videos a day. One, but one time I'd usually be putting out four. I did like that. I did like doing that. But I've decreased the workload as I've been getting used to um, not only doing this, uh, making YouTube videos, but also doing the, uh, uh, well, working. Also being employed. I wasn't, I was unemployed once upon a time. And I was just making videos and videos and videos, but things have changed and Perhaps I'm mentally ready to take things to the next level. Not um, with, not necessarily with making four videos a day. I, I like that just for my own pleasure, really. That's why I'd be doing it uh, out of a sense of achievement. But uh, yeah, I could pursue like the two times a day video or exercising twice a day, and also reviewing how I think. The sessions are going on a daily basis uh, in video form like i'm doing now that might mean i finally stop being inconsistent with uh workouts that then mean i take my how i feel to new heights and just my physical physical capabilities to new heights as well the potential is just there waiting it's there waiting and it's up to me to take it on that note i'll leave it there i'm done just making that happen Without the reviews in video form, I 